Hi everyone, I uh, wanted to make a quick video today um, to go over the necrotic hotfix from yesterday. Um, I know it's been a while since I made a video uh, over a week. I do have a video for the three taking styles coming out this weekend. Also a video um, from the PTR to give you an idea of some of the changes that are coming. Um, but let's talk about the necrotic fix from Mythic Plus. Um, prior to yesterday in the hotfix, there was two styles we could run. We could run either a kite uh, style or a leech style. Yeah, they both had their advantages and disadvantages. However, last night or yesterday at some point, there was a hotfix that had that changed leech and then no longer works through necrotic. So the leech build is dead. You cannot run it for necrotic. Don't try, you will die. So only thing that leaves left is our kite build. I'm gonna go over that quickly for you guys today. So the uh, talent wise, the first tier, tier 99, you can either use razor spikes for the damage and the 50% snare, or the abyssal strike for the consistent AOE damage plus the extra jump. Um, well, the cooldown on your infernal slam. So I personally run with razor, spike, uh, razor spikes, that way I can pop uh, demon spikes, do a soul cleave, put the snare on everything and jump out. Personally, I prefer, well, I prefer Razor Spikes. Others prefer Abyssal Strike. It's really your personal preference. Uh, tier 100, you can either run Fallout or Burning Alive. Uh, Burning Alive is great for giant AOE pulls. You throw on your uh, Fiery Brand, it jumps to everything. They do less damage. It's great. Or you can use Fallout. This will give you Soul Fragments, a 60% chance to to shatter a soul fragment from the from anything that hits um, this is good for damage because if you're running with uh, erupting souls uh, the soul fragments are good for damage it's also good for uh, your pain bringer which is the other talent which is your damage mitigation the three percent per fragment mitigation and it can also heal you assuming necrotic is not stacked too high <clears throat> 102 I use flame crash that's simply because of the AOE damage uh, 104 I use fracture this is where soul rending got killed the hotfix made soul rending worthless so you can no longer face tank necrotic don't try um, it doesn't work don't take it I take fracture um, you could run feed the demon if survivability is an issue so if if you run feed the demon you have to run fallout otherwise pointless uh, personally, I prefer Fracture for the superior single target damage and the fragments. Even though Necrotic, even if it's fortified, I'm, I haven't ran any this week, to be honest. I'm not sure what, what it is. Um, where's my key? Even if... Oh, I don't even know something is seven. Um, <clears throat> even if it is fortified, you still have to kill the boss. And some bosses are really hard to drop your stacks. Um, the uh, Wrath of Ishara at the end of uh, the Eye of Ishara could be difficult to drop your, your necrotic stacks. Um, the boss from Arcway could be difficult. So single target damage is still important even if it is fortified just because the bosses need to die before you can't be healed. Uh, quicken Sigils for the placement of your uh, Sigil of Silence and Sigil of Misery. And the shorter cooldown. I use Fell Devastation for the damage. You could probably use Blade Turning. I would never use it, but you probably could and be okay. But Fell Devastation for the burst damage. Spear Bomb is worthless for Necrotic because you can't heal yourself anyway. And then the last tier, I would run with Soul Barrier. Um, it's a great shield, honestly. It, it's a great shield, so. You could also run with Last Resort, but the value of this has now decreased since Soul Rending no longer works. Last Resort is, is meh, if you will. Soul Barrier is definitely better. <coughs> Gear-wise, whatever you normally run is is, is fine. Um, the small change, though, is if you use a Fane of Tychondrius, it is now worthless. So don't. Because leech again no longer works. Oh, also, the fragment. 
Summers are dead. Fragment of the Betrayer's Prison is Leech as well, and this did work. This also no longer works for Necrotic, because all Leech has been nerfed. So, this Legendary no longer works, the Fane of Tychondras no longer works, and the Soul Rendy no longer works. And that really concludes it. So basically, you just gotta kite. Um, you wanna use people's AoE stuns, um, so bring like Windwalkers, uh, Havoc Demon Hunters, anything with an AoE stun. Um, use Razor Spikes, and then slow everything, and then jump out. Uh, just a side note for food, I normally, it, it's been nerfed quite a bit, but I would still probably use Fighter's Chow, because it's still something, as soon as you drop combat, your Necrotic falls off of you, and you start healing yourself for more. It, it allows you to pull quicker. Like I said, it, it was nerfed, it was amazing before the nerf, now it's just okay. Otherwise, the same normal uh, consumables like um, your agility flask, your prolonged powers, old wolves for bosses, and that's really it. So um, I hope this helped some people, and if you have any questions, let me know. If you uh, like the video, please subscribe or give me a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.